Hi hello welcome to TNPSC Tutorials. Today we are going to see an interesting topic in geography. Clouds are given different names based on their shape and their height in the sky. Some clouds are near the ground. Others are almost as high as jet planes fly. Some are puffy like cotton. Others are gray and uniform. The lowest clouds in the atmosphere are stratus, cumulus, and stratocumulus. Stratus, cumulus and stratocumulus clouds are based at altitudes of 6,000 feet or lower. Stratus clouds appear as smooth, even sheets, light rain and drizzle often fall from them, light snow or freezing drizzle during the winter. Fog is merely a stratus cloud reaching to, or forming on the ground. Mid-level clouds include alto cumulus and alto stratus. Alto stratus, alto cumulus and nimbo stratus clouds are typically found between 6,000 and 20,000 feet above the ground. Alto stratus resembles a smooth gray sheet across the sky. Sometimes the sun shines through the layer as a diffuse ball as if you were looking at it through a pane of frosted glass. Alto cumulus clouds can appear in a wide variety of different shapes. When these clouds are very thin or semi-transparent, you might see a series of colored rings appearing immediately around the moon or sun, causing an atmospheric effect called a corona. Sometimes the clouds themselves take on iridescent colors, a phenomenon known as irisation. Nimbostratus clouds are smooth layers of gray, which often cannot be seen clearly because of the precipitation falling from them. The highest clouds in the atmosphere are cirrocumulus, cirrus, and cirrostratus. Cumulonimbus clouds can also grow to be very high. Cirrus, cirrostratus and cirrocumulus clouds are delicate wispy clouds that are located at altitudes above 20,000 feet and composed of ice crystals because at such altitudes temperatures are perpetually below freezing. Cirrostratus is a thin cloud layer that causes a halo to appear around the sun and moon. It is often seen 12 to 18 hours in advance of an unsettled weather system. Cirrocumulus clouds look like many small tufts of cotton, rippled sand or even the scales of a fish, hence the term macro sky. Please check out this image and memorize the names of clouds. And it's an important topic in geography. Please like share and subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends.